What is up, Panda YouTube? On the PG Stats channel, they've been going over the most common and least common characters that you'll see in tournament play, and today, we're gonna to be watching the most common characters, and if you wanna learn more about that, subscribe, of course, here to the main Panda channel, but of course, the PG Stats channel. No shill, it is probably my favorite Smash content, uh, because I like storylines, I like stats and numbers and stuff like that, and if you want more breakdowns like that, of course, go check out the PG Stats channel. TK Breeze is narrating this one, so let's go. It's gonna be Rob's up there, Steve. Cloud Roy Pithra After compiling over 100 power rankings worldwide, we have a data breakdown that shows how much of the player base uses the character, such as 3.2% of them. <laughs> it is mind-boggling to me. I think I saw these stats somewhere else. Uh, that the most common character, Palutena, is only on 3.4% of the characters in a PR. I know there's a lot of characters in this game, and I know a lot of characters are good, and I get that, but it's crazy as a melee brawl Smash 4 player to see that the most common character is 3.4%. I feel like if you did this in brawl, it would be like upwards of 30%, and then if you did this in Smash 4, it would be like at least 10 to 12, 15% of like Bayo, and then also Cloud. Um, so it's wild to see, like, yeah, the most common character, 3.4%, a 30th. That's insane to me. Damn! Almost half? I saw Palu was, like, number one or something like that. I'm not surprised by that. R look at Rob's dumbass is on the top of every list. Nate capped off his grand return to yeah. Smash Bros. in 2019 with 5% of all the results in impressive fourth place. You know what? Okay, I, I, I can kind of see this is a guy that got MVD... Shogun, Apollo Kage, Ronnie Two. We got we got we got a lot. There's a lot of stakes. There's, there's like a bunch of uh, a bunch of like pretty high level ones, pretty decent ones. Okay, I I, I I can see it. I can see it. Sorry, I think something went wrong with my mic. All right, I'm gonna continue the video now. Top five most represented characters. So yeah, a lot of people just do not know how to fight against Snake though. slightly less prevalent. Dio's been killing it. Number one main when you look at other contributing data. Dio's actually been doing so well in Japan. It's ridiculous. Like I still think of like Shogun as like the Japanese snake, but he's not nearly doing. He's not doing nearly as well as Dio. Also, I think Dio goes to more. Then you have the split of Apollo Kaga and MVD, of course. Faves. Despite being a matchup that everyone knows, that's not true. You Smash Bros players know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why? Why was that two Meta Knights away? I hate it. <laughs> it's true. gradually went from 10th in February to 5th by the end of June. That's wild. returning and having like that's so weird. events. There are no signs that Snake. Yeah, because I, you know what? It's weird because I feel like at the beginning of Smash Ultimate, all these new youngins didn't know what the hell Snake was doing, but he got better. Despite lukewarm reception as a medicated <laughs> character on release, Steve is no, but not my paralysis Smash demon. It's Steve's crazy ass. Ooh, that what? I, okay, I'm about to say. Twenty first at the start of the season to fourth by the end of it, piloted by a tidal wave. Uh, wait, wait, Pikachu results don't exist. Mean shiny mark don't go to enough. Piloted by a tidal wave number of young mains. Emphasis on the young, because ain't no old ass man can play no Steve. Cola remains the standout at seven. Yeah, the US is ruthless. The they literally just do not care. They are out here like it's the Wild West. Of all high level Steve results. It's definitely okay, okay, Jake. Okay, Yanni. Okay, D Dog. Okay, own it. Oh, you kind of low. <laughs> yeah, because the United States, we're a very cringe country. You know, other countries, they have some dignity. Not us. That's a lot of Steve's. Jeez. <laughs> so many Steve's. There's so many good ones, dude. It's so crazy. Oh, wait. D Dog, you mean Quandale Dingle Dingleton? Dingle Lingleton? <laughs> he is present for 47.7% of sample power rankings and accounts for 3% of the player base. 3% of the player base. 3% of the player base. It's crazy to me that he's not number one. It is insane to me that he's not number one. Popular character that has driven endless discussion for months on end. Sleeping majors. The real problem is Kazuya. Steve does not deserve to get banned. He's just an annoying ass character. He's just annoying. Doesn't deserve to get banned. You know what they say. Steve gets buffed every 48 hours. Why does he have meteor canceling and also he can be off the floor for some reason? There's new tech every day. I swear this isn't a meme. He actually gets new tech like every day. Even in 2019, the character had already achieved top 20 status and had Justice for Ellywood. Ooh, that was a nice catch on the jump. During early I'd rather ban Roy. There's a couple characters that I'd rather ban over Steve. Like Rob, I'd ban Rob. I would give up using Rob if he was banned. 
If, you, if, 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 if I had to give up, if I had to give up Rob for Rob to get banned, I would do it. Sorry, Rob. I love you, but I also hate you. Roy is a superstar character that peaked at first during early 2022. Roy is the best actual sword character in the game. Better than Aegis. I don't care what you say. I'm right. I'm playing the wrong freaking characters. They're not even on the second page. See, look, look, look above Aegis. Even though Aegis is super common and everyone thinks that Aegis is like the best character in the game. Roy's better. Roy's better. I swear. I want a discount. Give me my refund for porn. Goblin are un are unsurprisingly at the top of this list with a combined 41.3% of. Wait, why does Zomba have a Roy credit? What the? F Damn. He Carl uses Roy? Oh yeah, he does. I forgot. Pack at the end of Man, Robin this character was always broken. I will say it. That down tilt is not okay. Oh, Robert, my boy. Man stopped lying and started actually playing for real. And this character jumped from seventh to first in early 2020. The crazy part is that they still don't play the character. That's wild. They still don't do half the results. However, Rob's Man. personal character rankings was neither an anomaly nor something that I hate mean. Rob. <laughs> the resurgence of a, probably the result of a short season and regional popularity the character has seen since Brawl. However... And also he was really good on Wi-Fi, so a lot of people play him now because they played him on Wi-Fi. Rob still, shadows of his stint as the most popular character remain, with 41 unique mains contributing to Rob's results this year at C-tier and higher events. Like, like Wadi, Rob, like, like, like Wadi. Running for over one-fourth of his results. This number is oh, pretty wow. staggering. That's actually huge. It's actually crazy that he's this common with no Zach, with barely any Zach Ray results. That's insane. Yeah, Nathma that's big. In third. Huge Almost gap between Anathema, Big Zomba's Boss, and Zomba. Zomba's on another level. Oh, that's all my name! That's all my name! <laughs> Smash for Wii U. He started off rough in Smash. Ha, yes, the, the hoo haws will remember. Diddy? I hate Diddy. I hate Diddy. I absolutely hate Diddy. I don't understand. I can't react to to the, to the monkey flip. It's impossible. If you spam, if you if you ever fight me and you're a Diddy main, just spam flip kick. I will get hit by it. I don't know how to beat. It. I, don't know. I don't know. That's like the one thing in this game that I don't understand. Is flip is the, is the stupid monkey flip. Rare appearance from Esuji and Zenodo rounding things out. Also, Chicken, the, the Diddy Kong from Japan, has been also been doing really well. He's been, like, rising, like, exponentially as far as I'm aware. Oh, not even surprised. Tweak plays his character different than anybody I've ever seen, including Aaron, who's played the character since early Smash 4, so... If you're watching, somebody send this to Zenodo. Zenodo, Zenodo can't beat me. <laughs> he can't beat me. Anybody else think, yeah, go ahead. Power rankings. It's actually a huge comeback for a character that seemed lost to nerves. Moreover, Diddy Kong has staged the comeback. And Diddy Kong has stuff. He's just not the same character anymore. But he's still really good. He also just does well versus, I feel like, a lot of the DLC. I feel like he controls the Kazuya matchup. Even if Kazuya is still scary, he does well versus Aegis. I think does okay versus Steve. Like, not great, but well enough. Like, only a slight loss. So, he does well versus a lot of the new characters, too, which helps. And does well versus swords. And swords are super popular all the time. Endless choices full of gimmicks and weird mechanics. Wolf, the third spacey, is a simple, effective character. Side note, Kirby beats Wolf. Anyways, moving on to the next Smash topic. War. I feel like they may, they would have made Wolf suck in 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 Smash Four. That's what I think. I feel like he would have been slow as hell. I feel like it would have been like Roy. I feel like it would have been like Roy. Originally, however, Wolf was first by the ending of the PGR V3 season, blowing past Rob and only being challenged by Palutena. Mm. Wolf seems to have retained a large, loyal fan base over the years. With 37 contributing players Cola. during the first half of 2022 of the year. Okay. I mean, Wolf is a pretty cool character, I'm not gonna lie. I love how Tweak is on there too, alongside like Tweak and like 10 other characters. <laughs> it's probably there for PT as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there is a... I don't know if there is a... Like a definite Wolf, best Wolf player. I don't think there is one. Damn, Orion's number one? Yeah, he's been doing really well, actually. Of course. Well, we Plus, seen some good EU has so many majors. <laughs> like, uh, I feel like there's a lot of majors in like France specifically, so Orion gets to go to a lot of them, which helps obviously. But then, yeah, there's so many good ones in NA as well. well common top tiers in Ultimate were good in prior titles or entirely new. Palutena was frequently considered quite bad in Smash Four. I wish she was still ass. I wish she was still a bag of ass. She was cooler back then. Palu was cooler when she was doo doo. So was Rob. 
Palestina is number one. Yeah, Paulo's been one of those really consistent characters from the very beginning. Only drops a fork on international scores. Wow. In addition, she's still so good. While Wolf has seen a sharp decline. Like that's so crazy that she's number one. Palutena definitely does not. So Palutena weird. Is number one. She's the most common character among power ranked players. With 3.4%. I guess a lot of people just play her. But like I don't see that many Palus when I go to like tournaments and stuff. Yeah, because you can't. How do you, you. You. You have to try to lose with Palu. You got to try your hardest to lose with Palu. Because like. She could do anything. Like Wolf. She has over 30 contributing mains. Though while Wolf is split evenly between North America and Japan, Palutena is there are so many different regions. Metagame. That's crazy but to you me. Can't describe her Nero's plays Palu. Like Wolf, Tenchil continues to be enormous, with Jace, formerly Bedgar, placing fifth in contributions, despite only attending events in Mexico. If SoCal makes a big splash, players like Quinn and Chase stand to give Palutena big games. Very this is so cool having results like this, honestly. Shout out to the PG Stats team. This is Tyra awesome. Mithra. It's that's that feels so abnormal to me because I feel like I feel like Palu just like is getting worse and people just stick to her, which is so weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was terrified when this when this when this character came out. This character is going to ruin the game. And guess what? She didn't. Guess what? It was the character that was already out. Dumbass Steve. Ability to essentially turn into a heavy at will. So I'm assuming Cosmos is going to be the number one player for this because Cosmos doesn't play other characters. Hopefully I'm right, or maybe Shuton. Shuton, Shuton goes to a lot. It was Steven Kazi is the one that are that are that are in the game. <laughs> Shuton took the helm this year. While definitely let's go. I was right. Play, oh my god, it's like way ahead. Holy <laughs> shit. Between both, Aegis ended the first half of 2022 at seven, with wow. the ranking six, both using majors and just using regions. It's like a respectable DLC character, besides maybe the stupid Bats Within thing that they could do. Scenes, ...used by 3% of power rank players and appearing on roughly 46% of power rank. While That's and insane! Wolf 46! In ...even major victories by multiple top players. True. Character's good. Cloud was the original when it came to assorted instant DLC meta success. He absolutely rocked Smash 4 within less of a month of release. Under the weight of many... Hey, 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 whoa, hold up, hold up. While not a Double Cloud and Smash 4 was so toxic. That was an Dana issue. Wolf <laughs> not irrelevant. Yeah, I remember people said Cloud was ass. Forever. And then Spargo, Spargo ignited the, the Cloud flame. Yep, there it is. Was the major spark that reignited Cloud's metagame? It is constant clearly, clearly. It's Spargo just didn't give a shit. at large online events over quarantine likely inspired people to give Cloud a try. Oh, yeah, also, he was broken on Wi Fi, super broken on Wi Fi. Spargo defined Cloud during early 2022, sporting 30. No, I'm surprised we don't see uh enhanced PV. Of his result. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. Look, I like I like Cola's Roy, but I like Cola's Cloud more. His, his cloud is is. It's cooler to be. It's cooler. Only major loss internationally coming from Curry Governor, who sidelined the character in favor of Krom. Wild switch, but you got it, bro. But, but, it's unlikely what? Were ever approached the by Krom? Wait, what? Was able to okay, the I mean. R.I.P. Smash 4 dubs. <laughs> they talked about it. They talked about the dubs issue. Nair, 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 nair. Limit cross slash finishing touch. Ooh, like taste language again. <laughs> Remember, I can't believe Double Cloud got banned in Smash 4. That was crazy. Double Cloud literally was not allowed. Don't remind me of that. It's PSP. PDSD! Can't speak. Joker's reign in Ultimate was strong throughout. Hell yeah, Joker. Joker's up here? Joker remained just outside of top 10, despite lacking a lot of heavy hitters. Yeah, meanwhile, MKLA was out here like, yeah, I'm going to play uh, Joker again. For major level events, Joker declined quite a bit. Yeah, he place. dropped a lot. Originally, Where's Kazuya? Success in Europe, That's the real problem that nobody's talking about. I'm surprised he's that high, to be honest. Joker continues to see success in Europe, with Emas doing well in the UK when he was active. Lemon, a British Columbian, Lemon was 8.4% of results. Wait, Tsubotsuto? Tsubotsubo plays Joker? Isn't that the... Oh, that's the... I was thinking of the doc. That's Sumo Suto. The Tsubotsubo is the Olimar Joker main. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what people's problem is. Joker is still good as hell. I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. Look at Mars. Look at Mars crusty up there. This only being Lemon's challenged sick. by Mars. However, Omega does seem poised to overtake. Omega's also very good. Also so sharp. There's a lot of good Joker means. Despite losing a lot of top at major events. 
Thanks for watching. This has been TK Breeze. Uh, Make sure you hit that where's Kazuya? Button. That, that is the real problem. Hit that follow button. Or maybe even the sub no. button. No. I need it. I need it. Please <laughs> help. All right. Thank you, guys. Shout out to TK. Shout out to the PG Stats crew. Um, that was really interesting, actually. I love, like, numbers like that because it really does put into perspective which characters are really dominating in, like, in terms of the overall roster versus what's just overly hyped at the moment because your favorite top player is playing those characters. And they're just really good because you're a top player for a reason. So that's awesome. All right. That was a sick video. I love that video. I like I like trends and stuff like that. Like, it is obviously, you can see that from like majors you can just see the character usage in terms of like top 64 top 128 but having it like laid out like that to me is really really cool i mean yeah this 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 list is well besides joker this list is is not very surprising at all it's very very clear who the who the most popular characters in this game are soon kazi will be on this list for free soon you got my handshake on that you got it on that Guarantee these on here soon. What are your thoughts about the video? Do you guys see any characters that kind of come out of left field that are unexpected? I personally would have liked to see the stats on Kazuya, wondering what's going on there because I think that character is ridiculous. But yeah, just let us know down below and don't forget to hit subscribe on the subscribe button for the Panda channel, guys. Thank you so much.